Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Lincoln Journal Stars Four Downs. Luke Mullen and Amy Just here with your usual Monday update. And today, there is a lot, as there always is, with head coach Matt Rule. Uh, we'll start with the quarterbacks, uh, pretty much the only type of injury update. Uh, you know, we'll get into some of the play, uh, break down that Maryland game a little bit. But in terms of the quarterback's health, uh, Heinrich Harburg, ankle sprain that he's dealing with, Rule said he'll evaluate him on Tuesday. Nebraska does not practice on Mondays, uh, so they'll get Harburg in, see what he can do there. Chubba Purdy a little banged up. No specific injury on that, just more of general wear and tear from being out there taking some hits. And Jeff Sims fully healthy, uh, but still with all that in the air, not a whole lot of answers about this quarterback situation. No, and just the way that Matt Rule spoke about how, like, yeah, Heinrich has a, a pretty good, was the, the words that he used, uh, ankle sprain, and Chuba, who is still dealing with the groin injury that he's been dealing with all year, and then you have him just being banged up from playing, you know, very physical game. And then he says, you know, Jeff Sims is healthy, but we will see. Like, that just in a normal week in a, for a normal team that would indicate who your quarterback would probably be not here. So I, I don't, I genuinely don't think that they know what they're going to do this weekend, um, which is a little concerning, but there are several practices between now and then. Um, but if I had to go with my gut right now, based on with what we know, I think it'll probably be Chuba, but that's just my I guess. Yeah, I agree. And I, I think kind of the interesting thing is, you know, we, we've heard a little bit from Rule about the, kind of that groin injury that Purdy had, you know, sustained, you know, before the whole season, basically, it's just been dealing with that a little bit. It's like a question of, okay, you know, what's his workload been in practice before, you know, Rule said he's, you know, he's running the scout team heading into this, like, if he's going to get a full week of reps, you know, as a starter, that's going to be a, a big workload for him to handle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But I think he'll be able to handle it. He, Matt Rule has said all year long that he trusts all three of them mm -hmm. to go out there and start. So we might find out this week. Yeah, they might have to manage those quarterbacks from a physical uh, perspective and practice as well. But a big thing that's impacting this decision is, of course, the turnover troubles. And part of the reason why they might lean more towards Purdy or Harburg is the turnover numbers that Jeff Sims has had out there. Uh, many more turnovers in fewer snaps than Harburg. Uh, Purdy, you know, not a big sample size to deal with. But rule today, it was obvious, obviously going to be a big conversation. How does Nebraska stop these turnover troubles? Five turnovers in the last game against Maryland. And Rule, you know, he's, he took accountability. You know, he talked about how it's the coach's job to prepare the players to go out there. But ultimately, you know, something that he said that stood out to me was he said he doesn't have the answer. You know, they're still working through this, and they're still trying to figure out the answer for why all these turnovers keep happening. It's a little concerning that they don't have an answer. Um, this has been going on all year. It's not like this is a new phenomenon. Um, it's been very consistent regardless of who they have uh, had out there, regardless of position, right? So you tend to think that maybe it's not necessarily the players, it's more the coaches. And he talked about that, like, you know, it's on him. He said that like 12 different times today, it felt like. But yeah, I'm, I am not... Uh, leaving that press conference feeling great that they know how to fix this problem because they're the nation leader in turnovers with 27. And I think one of the reasons, too, why Rule was saying that they don't have those answers yet, and you were kind of touching on it there, is that I think he said there's layers, you know, that they're trying to peel back, you know, with this problem. You know, part of it is, is of course, going to be the plays, but the players have to go out there and execute the plays. You know, you go back to how they're practicing, and Rule said, you know, there's been fewer turnovers in practice, not as much of a significant issue as what they've seen in games. So, I mean, there's so many different little things that go into that, and that's part of the reason why they're still struggling uh, with this turnover problem. But as well as the turnovers, play calling was going to be a big topic today. Um, you know, some of those turnovers, too many passes perhaps, was a, you know, a qualm that fans, a lot of people around the game had to, to comment on, particularly that late Late game series, you know, Nebraska down there, goal to go, tie game, you know, throw a couple passes there. Uh, but rule today, you know, fully defending his offensive coordinator, Marcus Satterfield. And I thought something really interesting that he said, you know, there's a lot of people around college football. There's been firings going on, assistant coaches over the last couple of weeks. He was saying, how well is that done here? When, when coaches, head coaches have fired assistants, 
Uh, Nebraska, it's not always been easy. You know, one-year rentals, you know, for coordinators, assistant coaches. And what he said is, you're really going to make these players go learn a new offensive system after one year. He said it's not going to happen. Yeah, no, and, like, I get it. Um, but they've they've got to figure out what works and what doesn't. And I think more time is helpful with that. But that's not what anybody wants yep. to hear, right? Um, I still fully believe... Um, as we stand here right now, that Nebraska's starting quarterback next year is not on this roster. And, again, that'll be another learning curve. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. There's two more games left in the regular season with a potential bowl. They need to win one more um, to get there, and I think they will. But I just – not a whole lot of optimism on the offense outside of uh, Emmett Johnson. Yeah, and certainly one of the other things that Rule did mention, I mean, all the injuries, personnel changes that they've had to deal with on offense. I mean, you look at their wide receiver situation, it was Alex Bullock and freshman for several weeks. Like, there's been a lot of issues that the offense has had to get through this year. Uh, but the reason why he's standing by Satterfield and why he's standing by all of his players is because Rule very much believes in the process um, of building up this program, being a developmental place for, you know, players to come in, get some of those experiences, make mistakes, yes, um, you know, in certain situations and learn and grow from them. And that was something that, you know, it, it's going to be the case for these next two weeks. It's going to be the case for the off season, uh, you know, for everything moving forward. He's going to stand by these coaches and stand by these players because he believes in that process. Yeah, you know, he has said it since the day he got here. It's not flashy. It's not super sexy. It's just very boring, monotonous. And it's a process that has worked for him in the past. And, you know, we're still in year one of that process, even though fans uh, would like it to be a little bit better, a little bit faster. Patience is necessary. And patience is what you need to be, even if it's hard to yeah. be patient. Yep, Rule just saying, you know, he wants to win now for these veterans. He mentioned like Luke Reimer, Ty Robinson, the guys who've had several losing seasons. He wants to win now, but seeing a lot of potential in those young players that they've been able to get out there. But definitely with these turnovers, play calling, I mean, there's been a lot, a lot of questions for Nebraska coming off this loss to Maryland. Again, they'll evaluate those quarterbacks on Tuesday. We'll have more details for you then. So make sure to stay tuned at journalstar.com. But Huskers head on the road to Wisconsin this week. Going to be a tough matchup coming up. Stick with us for everything, and thanks for watching today's Four Downs.